Hello guys, it's Angelina Dima from Walking Nature World. Today we are doing a spectacular trail of the Costa Blanca region, Peñón de Fach round hike. Climbing to the very top of the rock. The rock of Ifach is a huge limestone mess, 332 meters high, that rises proudly of the coast of the tourist town Calp, at the north of the province of Alicante. It is considered an icon of Costa Blanca and a jewel of entire Alicante geography. This circular trail is a 5 km long that is moderate to difficult level and it should take us 3-4 hours to do. We expect to have significant elevation difference climbing to the top, as well as unevenness and steepness of terrain. So let's get through this challenge together! So the entrance to the park is free, but under some conditions. You need to make a prior reservation in order to access the route to the peak. In this natural park there is a limit 300 people that can enter a day. And they made this reservation condition in 2020 in order to protect the environment of this natural park because there is a lot of endemic flora presented, also because it serves as a refuge for lots of birds. But it is a very easy process to go through and we'll leave a link down below of the website where you can make a reservation. Saying several words about this natural park, it was declared back in 1987 and now it's one of the oldest natural parks in Alicante, as well as being the most visited in Valencia community. And that was being the reason why we think they made this regulation of that you need to make a reservation in order to access the park, to regulate the crowds of people accessing it and this way protecting the environment.
fact about this nature park is that it's only 53.3 hectares, which makes it one of the smallest nature parks in Europe. But it does have very special geological characteristics that makes it a very singular place in terms of its flora and vegetation. In the forest there are more than 400 species of cataloged plants, some of them in danger of extinction. So there is a recovery plan launched years ago in Valencia community and is slowly bearing fruit. So the first part of the trail is following this pebbled stone part of the path, which is zigzagging all the way up. It is quite easy and well made, as you can see. And yeah, so just enjoying kind of this peaceful walk with the seagulls in the background. Because of how vertical this rock wall is, it creates an illusion of falling onto you, and they look just incredible. And we've already got some magnificent views all around us, and we've just been on this trail less than a kilometer, so we can wait for more. Now very soon we're approaching the tunnel, which is around 50 meters long, and we said that it can be slippery, but it's wide enough so you can pass through it by... Okay, we'll check it out now. spaces and the tunnels and stuff but it wasn't that scary yeah but it is really slippery it's like icy surface you know you have to really watch your step and be careful because there are so many people who are just you know <laughs> rolling on these rocks so and we think the way down afterwards we have to do on the same trail it's gonna be much more you know complicated than the way up <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
the vision this trail being very long because of the unevenness of terrain, very slippery rocks. So it's going to be difficult to get through and it was a warning uh, after the tunnel that the children under 18 years old are not allowed on the trail because of its difficulty. We don't know how it's going to be, but already right now we can see that why this five kilometers will take us three to four hours, right? Mm -hmm. We are in the middle of the march and we chose the Friday to make the hike so it's not like the peak season nor the weekends which we generally would advise you to avoid because there's going to be even more crowds of people and still there is quite a lot of people we can see meeting on the way and you have to stop and wait for them to pass and vice versa and so because this trail is very popular and crowded it's one of those trails which are better to choose you know the days between the week and out of the high season, so in winter, spring, autumn, you know. But today is very nice, sunny day as you can see, and it's not very windy, which is very important, so we don't have to battle with the wind. And so it's very comfortable, and nice, enjoying the sunshine, which is quite strong already. <laughs> but yeah, and also the pretty blossoms around and views around us, just very idyllic. First we chose to go to the viewpoint Mirador del Carabineros, which is on like uh, going over this rock and on the other side a bit. So it's on the level instead of going right to the top right away. So yeah, so we're first doing this viewpoint and then going to the top. Uh, or you can choose to do it the other way around. But keep in mind that you have to count the same way back. So we will go to the viewpoint now and then we'll go back the same way and then climb up to the peak. At this moment we had to pack away the trekking poles because there will be no need for them, I think. Because we see that there is a very steep terrain and very steep uphill to get through. So yeah, going for the challenge now, the most challenging part is about to start. Thank <laughs> you. 
halfway there for now we've been following the red route it's been very nice it's very easy like it's straightforward so yeah get in there here at the top it wasn't an easy trail quite slippery and steep from this point we can see all the mountain ranges where we hiked and climbed too so we love it a lot here except for the city landscape of course and also behind us and on the footage you can see the nature reserve of the lake uh, which is very peculiar and interesting because there live the flamingos this is their resident spot and they live there all year round so we can come to Kalp uh, to photograph them and just observe them it's just a great spot so we highly recommend uh, not only to climb to the Canyon de Fudge it's very well worth it we have to get down all is left for us is 2.5 kilometers more to do but we think it's gonna be more challenging and more tough and long as well we seen it from above it is no joke Seeing all this rich bird life around and lots of seagulls, today we've been uh, hearing them a lot and we've been wondering if it's a mating season because probably it's not you know, a surprise that in spring they are mating and they will be laying eggs probably but we just don't know if they do it right on this Pignon de Fudge or on some other place but it's obvious that they love to live here, it is their place and we are visitors and guests and they're the residents here. So yeah, uh, it's been very nice to observe them and we've loved it 
the whole day, seeing their communication and their life in the natural habitat. So our trail for today is completed. We feel very tired right now. That you don't expect is just 5 km trail. We've said it several times, but because of the hard rocky terrain, very slippery in parts, it was very difficult to get through. So it was very tiring and a bit monotone, because how similar the places were. Of course we didn't like much, there were a lot of people, so they interrupt your pace all the time. Sometimes you have to rush, sometimes you have to stop. Yeah, right, and the path is very narrow, so you, you don't really have much space to get yeah. on the side, so you have to be like very tight on that. So yeah, it's always um, uncomfortable when you have such trails, but this is one of those. The views from above were spoiled a bit to us, because skyscrapers below and lots of town-like views. Yeah, uh, certainly Kalp is not like your one uh, small fishing village or Mediterranean type of old style villages. Um, Unfortunately, it is like very touristic, quite heavily danced with buildings, that's why. And uh, so you don't have lots of uh, natural, wonderful views, as it could have been uh, if it wasn't for this town. We quite like the views on the other side, with the endless sea coast, right, with the mm. endless seascapes uh, that you can see. Um, it was a beautiful weather, yeah, not very windy. Right now it starts <laughs> to be a bit more windy, but all the day it was perfect and we are very grateful for that and yeah so we enjoyed the atmosphere as we said we liked the nature element of it that we could walk through many beautiful flowers which were very unique we think to this area particular area as we said in the beginning there are many endemic species of flora and fauna living in the small natural park so we enjoyed seeing that as well as the bird life of course there is lots of birds yeah. not only seagulls right yeah. lots of uh, little small birds that you can observe uh, if you're fortunate and it was the highlight for us as always but we certainly think that this is not the only place the only hill at the sea coast that you can climb you can find many different spots more natural serene and uh, isolated from people where you can be really one with nature if you love this kind of thing we would really recommend exploring more of this area we also filmed lots of different hiking videos here in the region so you can check it out too in the playlist of hiking in spain so you can choose one for you uh, we think this one is very popular because again this is like a touristic center you know but it, it's not necessarily the most beautiful right no. um, it is nice, you know, you, it is a nice challenge. You are climbing up, then going down, going through the obstacles. You can make it as an adventure like, but we feel like there is so many more options here to explore. So you don't have to limit yourself to just uh, these, the most popular hikes. And this is what we always encourage you to do. And this, this is what we share a lot on our channel. Uh, lots of unknown hikes, maybe uh, some hikes that we just discovered, but which are not always beautiful and are worth visiting and doing. So don't forget to give this video a like. If you enjoyed it with us, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more hiking trips. Click the notification bell to always stay notified about our new videos. So thank you all guys for watching. Take care, have nice hiking adventures and see you all in our next video. Bye, Bye. guys.